Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sunday afternoon NBA playoff showdown. My dear Doug man, I'm checking in. Welcome to this Eastern semifinals between the Miami Heat and the New York Knicks. Now the Miami Heat, they took down the one seed in Milwaukee Bucks. That for the first time since 2012, a eight seed defeated a one seed in the NBA playoffs. Last time that happened was in 2012 between the Philadelphia 76ers and a, oh what a bucket! Wow, what a bucket by Kyle Lowry! Woo! What a shot! So last time an eight seed took down one seed was in 2012 when the eight seeded Philadelphia 76ers took down the heavily favored Chicago Bulls when Derrick Rose. Uh, got injured. The Bulls were supposed to win it all that year, but unfortunately that didn't happen. His injury, if he did not get injured, the Bulls would have had a most likely of a chance to win the NBA Finals that year. So, so now the New York Knicks will win over the Cavaliers in their playoff game in the first round. So the Miami Heat and the New York Knicks, they faced each other a couple times in the playoffs. Once was in 99 when the New York Knicks were the 8th seed. They had that magical run during that shortened season in, in the 98-99 NBA season. Due to because of a lockout and shortened the season. So the Knicks they had a chance to be the first 8th seed to win the NBA Finals. But they lost to David Robinson, Tim Duncan, and the Spurs in the 1999 Finals. And then the second time they played in a playoff game, the Heat and the Knicks, was when LeBron took on Camilla Anthony. I believe it was 2000, either 2011 or 2012, if I'm thinking correctly. One of those years. Or two, one of the years, I can't think of it. I know it was in the 2010s, or 2010s, I should say, as a foul on the Miami Heat. LeBron took down his fellow draft member. Well, Camille Anthony, LeBron, pretty much it was the battle of the 2003 draft, if you think about it. Wayne Wade was on the Heat. LeBron was on the Heat. Camille playing on the Knicks. Yeah, he got drafted by the Nuggets, but he got traded to the Knicks. Ooh. Robinson misses the first one. So the New York Knicks are the 5 seed, Miami Heat are the 8 seed. Hope you guys enjoyed last night's reactions. Yeah, Julius Randle out with injury. Last night's reactions, as well as food and drink reviews. As Miami gets the rebound. So, hope you guys definitely enjoy the Toronto Maple Leafs getting their first series win. For the first time since 2004. Man, the last time they won the series, it was going crazy then for Toronto. They won the Philadelphia Flyers, but I believe they lost. If I'm thinking correctly. It's 121 to go in this game. Next up, the Battle of California, Game 7, between the Second Round Kings and the Golden State Defending Champion Warriors. Hope you guys enjoyed the MLB Mexico World Tour series game between the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres offensive showdown that game was just crazy 11 total home runs were made and then so Kings Oilers you haven't seen that video go check it out sorry I had a, had a Blank in my mind. <laughs> Mine went blank. That game was good. It was back and forth, back and forth. And then the Oilers finally sealed the deal. As well as trying some interesting flavored chips. So, next up, Kings, Warriors, Battle of California. Can the Kings do it? Can they win their first playoff series since 2006? I mean, this season's crazy. This is definitely a different era. 
You know, in the Stanley Cup playoffs, you don't see Crosby or Ovechkin. Oh, oh, ball going around like a volleyball, and they're passing around. Here's a three. No, I don't know what they were thinking. Whatever, it's a 10-point game. Here come the next. Shot for two. No, rebound. Give it back to R.J. Barrett. Oh. So the winner of that game of the Warriors versus Kings, I believe, will take on the Los Angeles Lakers. And the Lakers have been a scary team. I believe, yes, they are overrated as heck, in my opinion, but they are a scary team. I got to give them respect on that one. As RJ Barrett just missed the first free throw. And then speaking of Game 7, an unbelievable crazy series between the Florida Panthers and the Boston Bruins. I thought the Bruins were going to sweep through the Panthers, but the Panthers are like, oh, no, nah, we're not going to lie down and just die. And then Seattle Kakarin taking on the Avalanche in Game 7. That's later on tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone give him some help. Lowry. Kyle Lowry. The whole drill in the corner. Oh. And he drew the foul. Wow. Kyle Lowry looks like he's all right. And there's Pat Riley. One of the best coaches in the league. Pat Riley, a legend. I believe he was coaching the Miami. Yeah, I believe he was coaching the Miami Heat when they lost. The eight seeded Knicks. He won his first title in 2006, I believe. Well, with the Heat. I believe Pat Riley won it with the Miami Heat in 2006. So, but he was on and off and from coaching due to, you know, medical reasons and want to spend time with his family, which I totally understand. But Pat, Pat Riley is definitely a legend. So Kyle Lowry with 16 points. Still seems weird seeing Kevin Love with the Miami Heat. What was it with some of the Cavs players going to the Heat? Well, Kyle Lowry was Toronto Raptors. As time is winding down here in Madison Square Garden. Here's a shot. Oh, there's an open three. No, air ball. Oh, they're going to open it again. No. Rebound score. Now it's a nine-point game. Here come the Heat. They're going to pass the ball. Oh. Gonna, I thought they were going to pass the ball around. <clears throat> There's Spike Lee. Biggest New York fan, Knicks, well, I should say, biggest Knicks fan of all time. Spike Lee, good old Spike Lee. There's one. So, Randall's out. Tyler Hero out with a hand injury. Jimmy Butler checking out of the game. Getting rested up for game two. Boston Celtics take on the Philadelphia Sixers tomorrow. Oh, ball almost got away. Is a shot and one. I mean, the Knicks need a miracle, but there's nothing they can really do. <laughs> but, wow. I mean, this Miami Heat team, you know, they had some tough losses. And this Heat team is just like, wow. I mean, they, they upseated the Bucks. You know, the Bucks were definitely heavily favored to win it all. And they upset them. So the craziness continues in the 2022-2023 seasons. I believe it's the craziest, in my opinion. I would say it's about as crazy as the old 708. Actually, the old 708 seasons were 
somewhat crazy, but not really that crazy. Maybe college football wise, the old 708 season was crazy. But it was definitely the, probably one of the most craziest seasons. You had playoff streak breaking. You got you know the Kings breaking their streak. Can the Jets do it with Aaron Rodgers? And RJ Bear just lays it right in. Now the next is let the, 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 the ball roll. And that'll do it. The final score of this Eastern semis. Final score, Miami Heat 108 and New York Knicks 101. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Next up, Battle of California. Warriors versus Kings. Can the Kings break their curse? Opening the playoffs for the first time since 2006. We'll see what happens.